Hello and welcome back to what Jack has made. In this video I'm going to be showing you the box sizing rule in CSS as part of the CSS Secrets series. And to demonstrate this I've created a HTML page with three div elements, one container and then two divs which fit inside the container. So if we go into the CSS you can see that I've set the width to 50% with a bit of padding and border. So if it has 50% width, it should fit both elements into the div container, shouldn't it? Well, if we look at the actual HTML page, you'll see that they both overlap the 50% sort of area and go past it. And the reason behind this is the padding. Because there's 5% padding and a bit of a border, this will make the 50% plus 5% on both sides. But what if we wanted to have 50% no matter what, and we wanted the padding to be taken into account for this. Well, if we apply box sizing border box and then refresh the page, you can see that they line up next to each other because they are now a width of 50% with the 5% padding still on the inside. So if we set this to 40%. They'll still be 40% but with the 5% padding no matter what. So that's a really quick tutorial and it's great for when you want to create boxes without having to worry about changing the width and calculating how much padding you have for that container. I hope you guys found this video helpful in some way and if you want to learn more about CSS then be sure to click on the link at the end of this video to find out more.